Hi guys, Carla Nicole. So I want to talk about something that I think we should really focus on um, after a um, breakup. You may feel like, uh, you know, your world's changed. Your um, whole uh, familial structure has collapsed. Um, you now have to resort to making decisions on your own without um, having someone else's input. All of these things are very difficult to deal with. I think we, we don't want to admit it, but it's, it's tough. Um, and so I want to just give you some joy to look forward to. After something ends, sometimes we feel as though there's no love that will ever surface in our heart again or we will never experience um, a great bond with someone again or we'll never have um, the love we want and desire in the structure we want and desire it to be but I want to talk about how you know there is a point after you go through a breakup or go through um a heartbreak that it's just it's just for right now that does not mean that your heartbreak will be forever and actually we can um, intentionally invite love back into our life it's not it's not concrete um, just to give you something that I learned early on is that you know Everything comes to an end, whether we want to admit it or not. It just does, inevitably. Um, it'll either be for life or it won't be for life. So um, we need to just know that and be okay in that. So I just wanted to share with you that you can, even after breaking up with someone, you can have something to look forward to by putting out intentions, by saying, this is just for now. Um, and in my aloneness, in my um, singleness, let me take this time to just focus on what I need, what I want, what I desire, what I um, really um, want in a person or people to be in my life. How do I want my life to look? The reason why I say it's important that you look at visualizing and in being becoming intentional with what you want is because it's key for it showing up. You having that visual understanding of what you desire helps you to move forward and take steps towards that becoming your reality. And also understand that love and and connection and um, great sex and intimacy does not happen um, without you having um, your own self-love, your own excitement about you, your own um, joy for being who you are. The more you love yourself, the more you love being in the skin you're in, the more excited you are about living and being in your purpose seriously impacts the love that you will get from someone else there is no disconnect from that that is what it is you will find that man i have a beautiful person in my life or people in my life because of what you've done for yourself because it's a reflection of you so just wanted to put it out there i know people are breaking up i know that there's been um just heartbreaks going on and it's a challenge because you know we become accustomed to them being here we become accustomed to them laying next to us we become accustomed to their to their patterns to their habits and once they're gone it does shift you into trying to get comfortable in the absence of them and in that absence it can be tough to really focus on how do i go from here now that they're not here 
So there is light at the end of the tunnel, but you have to realize that it's not going to be by chance. You have to put intentions and steps forward towards getting what you want and desire. You can't assume that someone will just show up. You have to put it out there that that's what you desire. When in due time you're ready for that. And there's no time. There's no there's no set time that, you know, um that you have to um set. Just know when you're ready and and you want to invite someone in your life. Don't hesitate to do that um, and allow that that um, connection to happen. Don't don't cut it off. Don't feel fear. Don't don't feel like I don't deserve this because you do. Um, and don't have preconceived um, emotional um, sadness to the point where you cannot embrace someone being attracted to you or someone wanting to to share space with you because of your hurt, because of your pain, because of your break, breakup and your heartbreak. Um, life goes on if someone is here or not. It goes on. So you want to make sure that there is <laughs> joy and love and connection after your breakup happens. And... Um, I just want you to know if you're in your alone uh, uh, in your alone season, or in your singledom, don't be upset about it. Be happy. Be thankful, because now you have time to focus on you, and this, of course, will help you to really um, cultivate and inspire someone else to show up to match the new you. To match the more holistic you that is concerned more about you rather than concerned about everybody outside of you. And that's really where true love starts is with you first. And then that person or people that, that come into your life, you start to see, man, they are a reflection of me because they love themselves. And that's where the real intimacy and real beautiful love affairs start and cultivate and begin so please share this video welcome to my youtube channel be sure to subscribe also be sure to hit the bell um, so you get notifications when i upload new videos and so um i just wanted to stop by and say good morning and um encourage you to just realize that after a heartbreak it doesn't mean it's forever you do have light at the end of the tunnel okay this is Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best bet. Bye, guys.